Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 86 from our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we discussed theoretically about the active storage and we set up the active storage into our course project. In this lecture, we will see how to upload attachments using active storage in a Rails application. Okay, so let's do that. As we discussed in the last lecture that we are going to upload an attachment for a student's profile image. Okay, and here you can see that this is the form for creating a new student inside the admin. Okay, now it's time to add a form field here, which will be input field. And using that input field, we will upload the attachment for a student profile image. Okay, but before doing that, we need to do something inside the student model. Okay, so here let's open the student model first. Okay, and just to upload the active storage attachment you need to define the attachment name inside the model for which you want to use active storage okay so here we can use has one attached okay and then profile image profile image or profile picture whatever the attributes is best for you okay so here you can see that i have used has one attached profile image okay if you want to upload multiple attachments then you can use has many attached and then your form field name should be in plural for example if you want to upload multiple images then you can use has many attached images or profile images okay but as we know that there is only one profile image for a record in real world so we will use profile image here and then that's why we are using has one attached profile image okay now we added the active storage attachment name inside the model now what we need to do that we need to permit this params inside the students controller okay so open the students controller and come to the bottom where we are permitting the params okay so now what we need to do that we need to provide file image here okay we saved it now at the last step what we need to do now that we need to add a form field into the student's form so that we can allow admin or allow users to upload attachments okay so let's open the student's form in the student's form you need to copy this okay so just copy this however we will change this paste it here and at the alternate contact number let's make a text profile image okay and then remove this text field and make it a file field and then and remove this class okay. save it now when you save it and reload the page you will see a file field at the bottom of the form here you can see that profile image okay now just add a br tag here so we'll so that we can get the file upload icon in the new line add a br tag here save it and now let's see okay now it's time to create a student so let's create the student name with ravi and change the email because we already have a student with this email test 100 at the rate gmail.com and for the date of birth let's select an age let's say 1998 okay and now just add some number here and select the profile image add my image here okay and click on create a student okay now this form is being submitted and you can see at the terminal that uh, into the logs that you can see that uh, active storage attachment has been created into the app okay or you can see that the uploaded file key here is the checksum key and here is the active storage upload history okay it means our attachment has been created now what we need to do that we need to display this image on our browser's show page okay or a student's show page on the browser so just come to the last page and here you can see this is the last image which i create a uh, last student which i created now go to the view and here we will display the profile image of any student okay so for that what we need to do that we need to open the show page of a student 
and in that show page you can uh, display the attached image at the top okay so, so simply we need to use the image tag image tag and then at the red student dot profile image okay and save it now when you save it let's refresh the page you can see that image is displaying here however you can add some custom styles here so that uh, the, those styles can fix the image ratio or the image display uh, for example let's say let me add some styles here let's say width 100 pixel and height 300 pixel okay save it now let's make the width 200 pixel save it and refresh the page now okay you can see that image has been fixed now okay but there is one problem with already existing students for which we do not have image okay why because uh, we just have image for this but uh, if you access the show page of another student which do not have the active storage uploaded attachment yet then they will give an error that undefined method profile image for students for example if you look at the student of uh, sorry let me back it and now let's open the another student okay here you will see that undefined method persisted for nil class it means the profile image for that already existing student is not exist yet okay so you have only two options that either you need to update that student and upload a profile image for that or you can make a check that whether the image is exist or not so let's make the check because it's uh, better to understand this functionality as well so here what you can add that if at the red student dot profile image dot attached okay this will check whether image for the profile image for the student is attached or not okay and you can replace this profile image by any attribute that you select for the image upload in active storage okay so now just uh, properly indent it and close the if and let's write end here save it and now refresh the page okay so you can see that if we do not have a uploaded attachment for any student then we will see blank space else we can see the attachment for example now if you can check for the ravi that we created the last student it has the attachment so it will be appear here okay so this is how active storage works so that's all from this lecture now try this uh, active storage attachment at your end for the blog images for example we have blog model so you can create blog form and there you can uh, try by adding cover image to the articles or blogs using active storage okay it's very simple try this at your end and if you stuck anywhere or if you have any difficulties by using the active storage and if you want to some more clarification or you want to know something more about that then just let me know through the comment section and i will be happy to help you okay so that's all about this lecture and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe